So before we jump into today's video, at the recording of this video was the day that we learned that we lost Carlos, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. And I just want to take a moment to reflect with you guys on just what a wonderful, loving ball of energy that man was. I had the pleasure of meeting Carlos uh, back at the, the first Scent Explorer in New York in 2019. Uh, we hit it off right away. I spent many hours talking with him. We exchanged numbers and I always stayed in touch with Carlos and uh, not a every week kind of thing, but every week or so we'd text back and forth. We'd message here and there. I was very proud to call Carlos a friend of mine. We did develop a, a wonderful friendship and, uh, you know, he was just a ball of energy. That man was just something else. Such a character. And as far as the fragrance community goes, an icon, a pioneer, an OG, if you will, of this, who's brought a lot of us that started early in our journeys, some, some wonderful content, you know, some wonderful recommendations and some just wonderful energy from Carlos in his videos. And dare I say, I'm just going to say it, the most iconic intro music in fragrance reviews on YouTube. Intro, the outro was even better than the intro. There'll never be another like Carlos. Rest in peace, my friend. You will be sorely missed. So, Kajal Perfumes has a new release. A lot of you know how Kajal Ohm is one of my favorite fragrances, especially the one I recommend that you try first from the house. Well, they just released Kajal Ohm too. Let's bust it open and see what it smells like. So most likely in the editing, I skipped ahead from all the cutting, but here is the sealed box. So same box, just orange instead of the silver. Interesting. I've seen pictures of the bottle, but this is going to be the first time I see it in person. I'm pretty pretty excited about it, to be completely honest with you, because I have very high hopes for this fragrance. Very, very high hopes for this fragrance, because I hold the original in such high regard. And based on the pictures, this should be a fingerprint magnet of a bottle. It looks extremely metallic looking and reflective. has the exact same cap. And oh yeah, there's no doubt that's going to be a fingerprint magnet. Look at the reflection on this bad boy. Same cap as Kajal Ohm. Fragrance information. Has the same feel, but instead of having the metal plates, it's all part of the glass. So that intricate etching work is actually part of the glass. So this is a, this is a newer mold. Is what it looks like to me. Yeah, because I don't see any lines to where it's a sticker. So that's pretty cool. And their usual just wonderful atomizer. Ooh, this smells like a little bit more powdery of a take on the original. Give myself two good sprays. So one thing to note, the sticker on the bottom did come off just now. It just randomly fell off, so I guess that's a, I don't know if that's going to be an issue on all the bottles, but on my bottle, this just fell right off into my lap. There's a, like a coffee smell to this, so I'll have the notes on screen. I did not look at the notes before this video. Um, I literally just had UPS drop this package off at my door, came sit down, and started recording. Yeah, there's a like a coffee note in here. There's still I still get that orange blossom type of freshness and floral aspect that the original has. But there's a very distinctive darkness and I want to say the oud's kind of dialed up just a tad. And it smells like a like a, a roasted coffee bean. It's definitely a bit more powdery than the original. You know, all this talk about comparisons of the original, I might as well spray the original on my other hand. So, just for comparison's sakes with the bottles, see the difference in thickness. You can see the plates on the left and no plates on the right. It's just part of the glass. 
So let's spray my other hand and we'll compare. Yeah, that's much fresher. It hit me immediately in the air. Much fresher, much more orangey. The orange blossom is very dominant in the original. A little bit of oud, some tonka bean. It's got a sweetness. This is a little darker. Kajal Um 2 is definitely a little, a little bit darker. They don't smell redundant to one another. I'm not getting the same scent, but they smell of the same family. I'm just going to tell you now, if this is the one I would wear in summer, this is the one I would wear in the other three seasons. This is strong enough to go year-round, no doubt. This has got a little bit different character. It's a little bit more powdery, and I can't get past this roasted coffee bean that I'm picking up. And there's almost like a toffee that I'm kind of getting from this as well. This, is, this has got some, some new character that the original does not have. I'm not saying this is lacking, but they definitely change things up a bit. I, I like it for sure. This is not what I was expecting. Because, I mean, I looked at the note breakdown once and it was, you know, every bit of two months ago. Then with that sticker, fell off again. So I'll just leave that there. So sticker came off. I don't know if it's because of the paint, but the batch code still printed on there, as you can see. I'm just going to say it. It's a little bit better than the original because it's got a bit more character going on. It's got a little bit, it's got extra nuances that are missing from Kajal Om. This is much more fresh and powdery sweet. This The freshness is dialed back a little bit for this dark edge. That roasted coffee bean, almost toffee-like smell that I'm getting. There's extra woods to this one. It's got a, now that it's starting to settle down, it's much, much woodier than the original. Man, I'm probably going to be wearing this this week, be looking out for a full review. I do have a lot of reviews to get out first. Um, so I won't be doing a review in the next week or so on this one. It'll probably be more in the two week range. Um, but be on the lookout for it. I did want to do a first impressions with you guys because I know a lot of you that have been following me for a while, you know how much I enjoy this one. And I really wanted to see the differences. Now this one's got a, a bit more of an orange feel from the orange blossom, fresher. Tonka bean dominant. Oud's very light, but tonka bean dominant. This is a fresh, powdery, floral, dark coffee. Okay, it's, it's so many things going. I can't call it one specific thing because it's very nuanced. This has more nuances and more complexity than the original. This is a freaking stunning fragrance. This is better than the original. The safer bet, if you're just looking for a fresher fragrance, definitely still start with Ohm. But if you want something with a bit more character that may speak to you a bit more, if you're not a, uh, you know, brand new to fragrances and this is not your first niche fragrance, man, go with Kajal Ohm too. This is an enthusiast fragrance right here. A fragrance lover is going to enjoy this. This is much more nuanced much more complex. This is a hobbyist fragrance. This is someone that's really into fragrances, can appreciate the nuances and the complexity and the changes this is going through because it's only been a few minutes. It's been about 10 minutes since I sprayed it and it's going through several changes. It's much more woody. That coffee's kind of toned down a little bit. The darkness has faded and it's much more woody than before. So definitely, definitely a nice upgrade from the original. I don't know if samples are going to be available yet because it just became available in the U.S. So I don't know how you can go about getting your hands on samples. But definitely keep an eye out. I'm sure they'll be readily available quickly. Just like when Lamar launched, samples got readily available pretty quickly. But another stellar release, dare I say, dare I say a better release for more people than Lamar, because Lamar was a very floral fragrance, which I love, but not everybody's into florals the way I am. This doesn't have that strong floral rose marigold aspect that Lamar had. 
this is a bit more well-rounded and a little bit more versatile as the Kajal Ohm line seems to be gearing towards. It's a great fragrance. Definitely check this one out. Pretty excited. It did not disappoint. Stunning release. Be on the lookout for a full review. So that was my first impressions on the new Kajal Ohm 2 from Kajal Perfumes. Just released in the U.S. Was already available in France for a few weeks prior. The successor to the original and ever so awesome Kajal Ohm. And I gotta say, not redundant in any way, shape, or form. They do not smell like the same fragrance. They smell of the same family, as they should, sharing the same bottle and name. But this one's definitely got a little bit more going for it than the original. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have been eagerly awaiting Kajal Ohm 2? This is just my first impressions. I can tell you right now, it's got some complexity. It's changing rapidly. It changes much more than the original. It starts off fresh and familiar with the original, then some roasted coffee. I gotta check the notes, but I'm convinced there's a roasted coffee bean in here. A little bit of a toffee smell, a light floral touch in the background, then the woods start to come in. The coffee starts to die down, the freshness starts to die down. It gets a little bit more powdery. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on Kajal Om 2 and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Rest in peace, Carlos Powell.